for me, I look at how it impacts the consumer, right? Like, what, what does this mean for you? Okay, cool, you digitized the dollar, but can I use it at the store? Can I hold it in my bank account, put an interest on it? What, what can I do with it? And I think we're still at a point where that's really not been rolled out. They made it where you cannot pay people interest on the stable coin. Somebody else can take that stable coin and go do something with it and pay you a piece like Coinbase is doing. So if you park, you know, some money over there, we get to four and a half percent on it. That's pretty good. But until we have adoption by Google and Apple and other people, large banks issuing their own stable coins, I think it's still going to be kind of slow to go, but once they do come and once it is here, I think you're going to see an explosion of adoption very quickly. And for the consumer, your, your ease to get capital, the flow of capital is going to happen much faster. Right now, the velocity of money is the slowest. Everybody's hoarding cash and holding on to as much as they can. And, and we've, you've still had inflation. You've got, you know, the into money supply and the velocity of money across an economy is what drives inflation between those two. So in order for them to reduce that M2 money supply, they need people to start moving that money around. And I think with the admin stable coins, that could happen very quickly. You could get pay up to the owl. So that money's gonna be moving much faster and changing hands much faster. 